Hello everybody, today we are here to uncover the insights about NICU and to do the same we have the privilege of welcoming Dr. Anthony who is the Director at Medanta for Neonatology. Welcome Doctor, it's a pleasure having you here. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Sir, would you be able to give me more details as to why do some babies have to go to NICU? Babies who are born before 37 weeks are considered preterm babies. These babies uh, have feeding issues, they may have breathing problems, they may have other issues and so parents will find them difficult to look after them. Uh, their oxygen levels may go down and they may need extra oxygen, they may need breathing support or other forms of support. Since parents cannot look after them, we look after them in the hospital in a place that is called the NICU or the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. There is also a small group of babies who are born at term but who have problems. And these problems, again, because parents cannot look after them, we need to take care of them in the NICU. So that's the role of the NICU. As we take a walk through these corridors, we'll discover various aspects and facilities that the space has to offer. In the NICU, we'll monitor the babies uh, on a monitor like this, which will monitor their heart rate, their oxygen levels, their respiratory rate, their blood pressure and a number of other parameters that we think are important to look after the baby to ensure that the babies are safe. Babies are nursed in warmers like this which has an overhead heater and a way of measuring his temperature and adjusting his temperature to make sure the temperatures are controlled within normal limits. Babies who have breathing difficulty or babies who cannot breathe or babies after surgery would need to be connected to a ventilator which helps them to breathe till such a time as they can breathe on their own. Mm. If the baby cannot uh, suck or feed on breast milk, what we do is we would freeze it in a freezer like this. As you can see, we've frozen breast milk. This we would keep till such a time as the baby can accept this breast milk. We know the love that you have for your children and that inspires us to do the best we can to ensure that they have the brightest and the best future possible. After this session, I'm sure about one thing. When it comes to the life of your loved ones, you should only trust the experts.